so today I'm going to be doing a how I jet glue my point shoes vlog. So pretty much I jet glue my shoes at least three to four times for a pair of point shoes. My point shoes usually last me ranging from three to four weeks, five if I'm lucky. With Nutcracker around the corner, they last about two to three and I jet glue them a lot. I currently wear Russian points. I've had maybe I think six Russian point shoes. No. I've had one, two. I've had five. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how I jet glue my point shoes and help them last longer. So if you don't know what jet glue is, jet glue pretty much is something that can make your point shoes get hard again. And you never want to get jet glue on your hands or anything as it will burn them. So yeah, let's get in. Sh let's get straight on to the video. Let's. Go. Okay, guys. So you're gonna start by getting a point shoe. I'm only gonna do one shoe. So you get a point shoe. This is my right foot. So I wear different sizes on both my feet, so I have to do them differently. So you're gonna start off and get your point shoe, and then you get jet glue. You can get it on Amazon. Be really careful opening it. So you do this. You're gonna get your point shoe, and I'm gonna change the angle. Okay guys, so you're gonna get your point shoe, you're gonna get your jet glue. Okay, so I, so everyone fits different, so you need different things for your jet glue. I need right here, I do the inside right here, and I do the inside wings of my shoe. So to start, I go from here the satin line to about the R. So, I get this. Can you see me? So, it does that. Don't breathe in the fumes. It's not good. <clears throat> it's not good for your lungs. It's just overall not good for you. Okay, and you have to let these dry. So, little story time. So, I had a really long nutcracker rehearsal, and I had forgotten to jet glue my shoes the night before. And I was like, I can't do this in these shoes, they're so dead. So, <clears throat> 10 minutes before I had to do my first dance, which was snow, I jet glued my shoes and sat them in front of a fan. And it kinda dried, kinda didn't. It was mostly dry. But you are supposed to leave it for about 24 hours to dry. I never do that. Mine get about maybe like an hour, two at most. Like right now, it's already dry. It's just like for long-term use so that it doesn't break down as fast. It works better for you to do it, but I never do that. So now I'm going to do it again. And when jet gluing... You really need to make sure that you get it where you want to. Because one time I got it on my right here, which is my drawstring. And I got a really bad bruise on top of my foot because I did not check my mine properly. So my point shoes are Russian Point Radiance Rubines. They are a newer shoe. They have satin on the top. They're really pretty shoes. And they're a three-quarter shank. So if you're new to point, I don't recommend, or if you don't have point shoes, I don't recommend getting three quarter shank because you have to have very strong arches to be able to get over your box and stay on your box because there's less support. So pretty much the less you take away from, the more you take away from your shank, the less support you have. So full shank is the most supportive shoe. Then you have three quarter, half shank. Don't move. No shank would be like a ballet sh shoe. So the more of the shank you take away, the more like a ballet shoe it is. But I really like them because I find that I can really like roll through my feet and I can really manipulate them to make them what I want. Other shoes I feel like I can't manipulate. So then I go where the seam is and that's also where I set my ribbons. So I get my shoe. I'm not gonna do this straight up because it will run down. Jet glue is very liquidy so you have to make sure that you like are careful. Okay so jet glued right there. The fumes are really bad, guys. Like, I'm not even joking. 
So then I'm going to do the wing. So you take it, hold on. First off, you need to get your drawstrings and get them out of your shoe. So like, do this. So then you're gonna put it in there, start from the bottom and work your way up. So it looks like, I don't know if you can see it. There, it's like right there. You're gonna fold it. You can feel it from the outside of the shoe, like it's hot to the touch. But. So, yeah, and that's how much straight glue I use. So this is how much straight glue I use. So, today I'm going, I'm going to continue this vlog because I feel like it's kind of short. So I'm going to show you how I prepare my point shoes like with check glue. And I'm also going to give you some point tips. So, yeah. So guys, the next thing that I recommend, I mean, the first hack that I recommend is putting oral gel on your blisters. So this may sound really weird, but I find when I put oral gel on my blisters, you know how oral gel like numbs your gums? Well, pretty much if you put oral gel on your blisters, it numbs your blisters. So I find that helpful. Okay, hack number two is I recommend putting gel clear nail polish on your toenails. And I feel like it hardens your toenails so you get bruised toenails less. Yeah. Hack number three, I recommend the Dr. Scholl's Odor X. It's like this. Okay. Pretty much what it does is it makes your feet not smell as bad. Because after point, especially me, like, I find for me personally, it helps my feet not smell as bad after point. Okay, next hack is putting essential oils on your arches and it helps your feet not hurt as bad. Yeah, it helps like calm the nerves of your feet out. Okay, next hack. So there's a suffix foot powder and you can put your spacers in your like toe pads in this. And it smells like baby powder. I'm pretty positive it is baby powder, but yeah. It helps your toe pads and stuff not smell as bad. So, recommend that. Next, I recommend getting a little thing to put your point needles in. Because if you're anything like me, I lose my needles and then I end up stepping on them and it just isn't a good experience. And then my last hack, which any person really would know, is really take time on point. So don't get frustrated if like, it doesn't come the first time, like you can't, like, it's not your first day on point and you can do, like, a triple pirouette. Because I've been on point for about two and a half years and I can't even do a triple pirouette. It just freaks me out. I can't, I never could do it. I can do most of the time, sometimes. So, it just depends on the flooring and the day and how good of my point shoes are treating me. So, yeah. Don't get frustrated. Last hack. I recommend doing a whip stitch. Because it really won't move. It won't come out. Look up how to do a whip stitch. I could do that. I could do how I sew my point shoes. Okay. Anyway. So guys, this was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, turn on your bell to get notified every time that I post a video. And that's all. Bye guys.